everybody, welcome to the show today. We are in Salt Lake City, Utah. Marshall, what's happening? All right, we got Julian running the milk mile. Let me bring in my most prized possession, this steer here. Okay, at the top of every 400 meters, he has to drink one glass of milk, and he's gonna be starting in. Are you ready? I'm not ready, ready? for this. I don't want to do he's this. He's going in three, oh, yeah. two, one. Give that first glass. Oh. Give that first glass. Whole milk, vitamin G. There you go, all the heifer. Nutrients. Oh, that's his first milk in 15 years. What, what you don't know is he's lactose intolerant. Let's get going. Okay, let's get going. this is gonna take a while, Whoa. so let's roll the foot. In there. It's in my chest. I can feel it. All right, welcome back to the show. He's on round two, which is chocolate milk. Every Got round, food, baby. it's something new. Oh, you're at eight minutes. You, you're gonna, you're gonna be cutting it close yeah. here, bud. It's been over so long. So Man, long since I milk. I love a good glass of chocolate milk. My son calls it chocolate juice. Oh, chocolate <sighs> mood. Yeah. Yes. Come on. I got this. You got. I this. gotta win some. I got this. Here we go. Okay. All right, what's, what's the time? Where's right. he at? He's got 7.44. 7.44. All right, so to give you a little backstory on why we're punishing Jules this way, we're gonna check in with Heaves at the desk. Today on the show, you'll notice that Julian Marquez is doing the Milk Mile solo, and here's why. For the last three weeks, we have participated in a CrossFit Games Worldwide Open. Then between the three of us, our points ended up with Mars in the first one. Okay, win streak! Me in second, Julian in third. Ah! Sorry, bro. So we went to you guys. You owe some sort of punishment, which we'll, we'll decide. Bro. Leave them in the comments if you got them. And you guys showed up and left tons of comments that were phenomenal. But one concept kept reappearing, and that was some sort of mile. A beer mile. A shoey beer mile. A milk mile. <laughs> we saw these two comments, and we said, Julian is lactose intolerant. This is a terrible idea. We should do it. But shout out to these two for coming up with the Milk Mile Challenge. They won last week's comment giveaway and they are gonna be proud owners of new whoops. So hit me on the Instagram DMs and we will hook you up. The Milk Mile Challenge isn't the only thing we're gonna be doing on the show today. We will also go to a local joint and hit some perfect pancakes, along with meeting up with Marcy Bradley to put us through Pilates. Why not? Oh. And as always, thank you for watching. You guys are the best. We love this community. We love that you guys support us. If you like what you see, do us a solid, like the video, subscribe to our channel. That really helps us out. And leave a comment down below. This week, we're gonna pick one random comment and give them a year subscription to GoWad. GoWad is a phenomenal tool to use to keep yourself limber and stay focused. All right. Let's get back to Julian suffering on the mile. Okay, so the reason we're doing a timer for 10 minutes, if he gets under 10 minutes, then me and Heber are gonna actually eat spicy milk. This is flaming Hot Cheetos right here. We're gonna have to have that in some milk. That's, that's our punch. Yeah, I got him rocking with me. Right in there. It's clogged. Oh. Welcome to Strawberry Haven, oh. my man. Have a oh. glass. True mood. Feeling like a dairy farm you lost his way. Oh, yeah. Oh. Get, Get it. it. Let it coax your throat. Think of Pepto Bismo when you do it. <sighs> you're coming up <sighs> halfway here. You're on, you know pace. You're on pace. Probably got a good time. How good is this one from the chocolate? Are you, are you better? <laughs> oh. 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 I'm trying to keep it down. You got this. I don't milk. drink milk. It's the <laughs> easiest one. All right, we're back at it. I'm gonna make this. I bet on me and my team. I so is what I'm rapping. <laughs> I'm not gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. Yeah, I got skills. <laughs> <laughs> it's in milk mile. I know. I can <sighs> tell. <sighs> <sighs> this one's looking a little. Uh, Okay. Oh, it's thick. That looks unpasteurized to me. Oh. I'm just trying to win something. Come on. Come on now, bro. Let's... Oh, it's thick. That's so thick. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man. Shotgun it. Ah. <laughs> mental. It is mental. It's mental. Come on. He's good. Time is a ticket. Ah. 
Come on there, Jules. All right, you got 245. You got this. Hey, this is tough. Uh, other tough stuff? What about that Spartan Games? Oh man, the Spartan that? Games. Remember when we went and did that? I broke my back. You broke your back in the Spartan Games, and that show is finally coming out. But if I'm... What was your favorite part? Probably the part when I beat everybody on that workout, but I hurt my back. Uh -huh. win, win streak. <laughs> then you hurt your back. And then I had the victory of the weekend when I beat Julian on that D-ball thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. I would totally have expected Julian to beat you. Right? Was like, because I was lifting basically my body weight. You were the little dog in the fight, yeah. but it's not the size well, of the fight and the dog. No, it's, it's the, the dog, dog in the, the fight. Dog. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Let's go! Check out the Spartan Games new TV show. It's dropping every week starting this Thursday which is like March. So just check out Spartan's YouTube and they'll be on there and maybe we'll be in the background. I still got it. Oh yes, I want something. I want something. Oh, fuck it. Woo. You know why cows don't run miles? Because they lactose! I want something this open! Woo! All right, well, punishment is we have to do a uh, glass of milk, and uh, Marsden has been kind enough to blend up a bag of flaming hot Cheetos. Come on, Garcia, get in there. Are you just going straight, or are you going to try and, go, you gonna try and la like, savor it? <laughs> yeah, I really want to savor uh, the flavor of flaming hot Cheeto come milk. Come on, baby. That's, that's it, that's it, all the way down. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, Heber's a champ. Heber bodied it. Now you better finish it. Let's go. <laughs> Man, Let's I really go. do not like Cheetos. Oh, yes. Yeah, yes. Like you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wash it down. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get off the track. I had nowhere to go, man. What do you mean? You can go 10 feet that way. <laughs> That's all you do it. I can't see it and see it and then, ah. Uh, all right, so while he's puking over there, struggling on the dry even, let's go back and find out what we have for breakfast. Okay, what is that? Yeah. Ooh, that's a scone. Julian's messing us up. This is a Utah scone. And Julian, when we ordered these, he's like, this isn't that triangle, like hard biscuit stuff from the Europe. Nope, this is a Utah scone, fried scone. But we came here for what? Why are we here? We're here for the lemon pancakes. I mean, these are gonna be some uh, top level cakes. Okay, I like to do it over here and oh. dip it so it doesn't, oh. doesn't make it like so wet throughout the entire process. I like the coloring, I like the powdered sugar aspect of it. I mean, that sauce looks good. That's good. For me, it's the syrup over here. Oh, yeah. I've only had a single one of these, so I've never had it amongst Are you company. using my fork right now? I guess so. <laughs> Man, that is an exceptional cake. It's fresh. You can really get the lemon. It's back here. It's on the palate. Yeah, what are you writing now? It's a nine. This is Steph. Hi. She <laughs> actually said it. She's also doing the individuals. Oh, he's gone. Oh, that's so blissful. That's so blissful. Honestly, it's like a 9.5. Yeah, yeah. Steph's diving in. Oh. Will you trade me plates? Yeah. yeah. Musical chairs. Musical plates. <laughs> I don't like to dip it. Okay. I like the drizzle. It tastes really fresh. I can what, taste what the lemon. Nine, one out of ten. An eight. All right. I didn't even order a burrito. I'm sorry. It was eight and a burrito. Yeah, you're, are you Because <laughs> it was in front of me. I don't know. That's what I do. When food's in front of me. I totally forgot that this is not mine. This is good though. Cheers. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? And go. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. This is Marcy, and she's gonna teach us Pilates today. So tell us a little bit about Pilates, we have know nothing about it. Okay, you guys are gonna love it because you work, you focus on your stabilizer muscles. It's usually difficult for people that are used to lifting heavy weights. Which is what is the phases. translation? <laughs> is Pilates? <laughs> what? I don't think that's anything. I think that's a mean one. Have you noticed I've worn my stretchy pants so you can see what I'm working with? Yeah, so what Check we have out, Steph. springs here. We got springs going on. I feel like I'm at a trampoline park. And so we're gonna start with all springs. You're gonna go ahead and lie down on the carriage. So everything adducted. Do you guys know what that means? I can already feel it. This is the warm up, okay? Okay, rotate your toes in. So we switch foot positions to hit every area of the quad. So what misconceptions do people have about Pilates? That it's just a stretching class. It is 
absolutely not true as you found out today. I'm melting. This is a horrible. You're gonna drop down as low as you can, oh, and wow. then you're gonna squeeze to the top. Down right. together. I need you to hold it. Hold it down there. I'll hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Still hold it. Still hold it. Hold my hand, man. Well, I started doing Pilates because I had a hamstring tear and injury, so that actually helped rehab my hamstring injury. I was a marathon runner. I've run 59 marathons. That's actually what helped heal my hamstring injury and got me back into the game. Oh, like look at look at the difference between me. And Heber. Yeah. I look like I eat hot Cheetos. Okay, I'm gonna demo this uh, core move. We're gonna actually start with our leg up. Yeah. The ceiling. It's enough. Then we're gonna rotate, thread the needle. What's something people struggle with the most in class like this? Um, usually probably core stability. Just hold it here. We're gonna hold here for 30 seconds. 30 seconds? Hey, these guys complained about it. You guys do a thousand burpees. I don't wanna hear anything. Every move that we do in class, including the ones that you guys did today, we can modify. It can be a level eight class, but all levels can come into the class. Yeah, look at you. You're like a star Pilates student. Aww. Oh, my wife's gonna be so proud. So what is this, Jillian? You're just doing this with your arms. You, know, you guys are the hype crew. Come on, we got it. We got this. Oh, clutch. I'm good clutch. Oh. Dude, this face is not for the camera. This is what I'm really feeling. This is hard. Julian really liked to kind of uh, put his cervical spine down as he was doing a side plank. So probably work on aligning your spine. Even when you're in a side plank, you should have your head up, not just dropping it down. Marzen can be working on, uh, he had a lot of tension in his shoulders, I felt like. So maybe relaxing his shoulders a little bit. We're gonna do a bicep curl with a squat. Oh, so your yeah. back's gonna be straight. On the bicep curls, he tended to wanna put his elbows down. So just keeping your elbows up and trying to stay nice and stable instead of uh, moving those elbows around. <laughs> You can't get a pump like that with dumbbells. Hey, Burr, you, you had some serious tension in your shoulders. We gotta get you to relax a little bit. So that was probably your biggest thing. You were the star student today. Shoulders back, back. Mar, shoulders back. You got a looser band. You guys, you guys have an excuse for everything. Look at my spring. Wow. Look at his face. Oh. Mar, if you're asking me to train with you, since I'm winding in a bench, this is easier. Okay, so we're gonna start here with just a press. You're gonna open up, close. And then one open it. My bands must be easier. This is all I need you to do is this right here. Okay, that You're gonna pull the carriage in and lift your hips. Woo! Keep your legs straight down and hold. Good. Okay, Bye. drop it down side to side. And then you're done with class. Who's pumped up? Pumped up. Woo! Hooper takes the cake you, on Pilates. Pilates regular. Yeah. I'm a Pilates regular. Look at, that. Look at his shoulders, his veins are popping out. Vascularity, popping out. CBD oils. So seeing how we did, what'd you think? How'd you we guys, do? You did actually really well. I put you guys through a pretty hard workout, so yeah, good I'm job. Good. This is not what I was expecting no, at all. Hard. Where do you feel it the most? I mean, ego. You're about to run a marathon. Never done it before. Uh, how many have you run? 59. Okay, okay, so you got any tips for a guy like me that's like, I feel like I'm fit for like CrossFit, but I don't do like long endurance stuff. I've got like a month that I work my 30 way 30 days, that's really, that's gonna be fun for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, we're at least run three or four times a week, you know, try to add on some miles every week. Okay. But then the week before, you actually need to taper down a little bit, so. Mm, so I got three weeks. Three weeks, good luck. Okay, I'll got cheer it. you on at the Salt Lake Marathon. Thanks, Coach. We always like to give our special guests a gift, so we brought you a special pair of Buttery Bro sunglasses. Yeah! Woo! I needed some! Wow. Okay, hey. Wow. I got you. <laughs> if you're in the Salt Lake City area, come by Excel Fitness, hit Marcy's Pilates class. It's phenomenal. And we work out down there. You can peek us through the window. What up, people? Workout data provided by Whoop! Yeah, shout out to the Whoop folk. Okay, I'm in. All right, so Pilates workout. I've what never actually logged the Pilates strain, but I got a first. four and a half strain, but I'll tell you, it, it felt harder. Yeah, I got a 6.3 strain. My heart rate didn't go higher than a 139. Yeah, 141. But uh, yeah, that's, it's not as strainy as like running, but I definitely felt exhausted. It was the little muscles. Way harder than I thought it would be. Yeah, and uh, onto another thing. Shout out to the Butter Gang. Top of the most strain today is Jordan Burdett. Burdett. She's 23, living in the US. She's got a 53 day data streak. Jordan, hit us in the DMs and we're gonna slide you a brand new Whoop band. Make sure you use code Pancakes to get yourself 15% off of a Whoop subscription. That concludes the Whoop of the Butter Gang. We are live. Oh, cheers, cheers. boys. Cheers. Checking back in. Oh. How you doing, buddy? Not even trying to swallow this either. 
That tastes oh, so much man. better than the Flaming Hot Cheetos milk. I don't think I'll that ever does. be able to drink that again. Dude, I honestly already have a shoe in the dryer. Can I just say that that last lap, though, for me was like, you're going to hold this in and you're going to get a W. You're not coming out of this episode with nothing but L's and just all kinds of losses. <laughs> Dude, I was curious there, on that. On you'll the, have the GoPro Max, cream. and I'm just there self talking, just motivating myself. Revenge and, and, and is and best think, served cold. Gosh, you got a strong hot stomach. Cheetos. Real strong stomach, this guy. Yeah. yeah. Maybe, not, maybe someday we'll eat some raw liver. Oh, or dance in the class. <laughs> Cheers. Cardio. I just don't get you. show today catch up with us next time when we go to quarterfinals with the hwpo crew and mal o'brien